A perfect cadence is the most common thing to hear at the end of a piece or large section. It is a five chord followed by a one chord, both usually in root position. The last two chords of this example show a perfect cadence in C major. Notice that the chord before the five to one is a two chord. The two is very commonly heard right before a five chord, especially when setting up a cadence. Whenever you need to supply a chord right before a perfect cadence, two is usually a good choice. Four is another one. You may need to do this on your exam. Plagal cadence. A plagal cadence is often attached to the end of a section after a perfect cadence. It's almost like the icing on the cake or the gravy. Not structurally necessary, but adds a little something extra. It consists of a four going to a one chord. If you play or sing church music often, you'll often hear this at the end of a hymn, so much so that this cadence has the nickname the Amen cadence. Here it is in C major. Imperfect cadence. An imperfect cadence, more frequently known as a half cadence, is any chord followed by five. It's called half because it stops only halfway through a perfect five to one cadence. Here's one in C major that goes from one to five. But it could also be two to five or four to five for the purposes of this grade. The imperfect or half cadence is good for ending early sections of a piece before you get to the stronger ending, usually a perfect cadence that you need for ending larger sections or entire pieces. So a beginning phrase might end with an imperfect cadence and then the next phrase may end with a perfect cadence to be more conclusive.